In the class, we learned mean, mod, and few other uh, descriptive statistics, and we also learned how to do it by one by one using the Excel functions. Uh, in this short video, I'm going to show how to use the uh, data analysis tool pack in Excel to get all those at once. In order data analysis tool pack to work for the descriptive statistics, all the values we are looking needs to be numbers, right? A ratio data style. Uh, and then we can do run that uh, analysis, right? In this data set you have seen earlier for the pivot uh, analysis, I have the sales amount that is ratios, account numbers are numbers and transaction IDs are numbers, but they are not very meaningful. So I'm not going to consider them, just focus on the sales amount, right? So if you don't have the data analysis tool pack, you can install it. If you have it, it is under the data uh, on Excel. Uh, installing it is easy. You go to the file, options, add-ins, then Excel add-ins at the top, uh, bottom. Go and select analysis tool pack, right, right here. I have a few more things uh, on my uh, Excel uh, added up already. All right. Once you do that, it shows up here under the data. All right. So let me go and start uh, using. There are some other data analysis tool pack items as well, including regression analysis, moving average, especially if you remember from the uh, forecasting techniques and so forth. But right now I will be using only for descriptive statistics. All right, let's go select that one. So this is the field apparently I did select earlier and it's still there. So I'm going to select all the data here. Right. Um, I'm going to put it in a new worksheet, but if I want it, I could put it here as well. Um, I can get the summary statistics and confidence level for mean. Uh, the default is, I believe, 95% uh, or you can choose any other number depending on confidence interval calculation. And uh, in my data, the first row had the label, so I just make sure that that is there. If I don't choose this one and there is a label, that text basically throws it off. And let's see. You see there is an error message showing that uh, input range, range contains non-numeric data. All right, so I need to select that one. All right, let's run it. So. I just get the, got all the data or the, all the uh, descriptive statistics, including mean. Uh, standard error is basically standard deviation is divided by the square root of uh, sample size, in this case 42, right? So standard deviation divided by the square root of 42 will give me the standard error. Uh, median mode, standard deviation, sample variance, um, Skewness, we have already seen that. Curtis's also shows like how the uh, the shape of the probability distribution is. Uh, and now I'm gonna actually pick up. Right. So you may have remember. Uh, you may remember this. Right. You may remember this slide. This is all we discussed the uh, uh, standard deviation perspective, but it also an indicator for the Curtis's. Right. Um, the idea here is that uh, this the red line here, the team one where the standard deviation is small, everything is uh, together. Uh, that is when the Curtis is, is positive, right? In this case, I have minus. That means probably my line is more like the blue one here, right? Uh, rather than the red one. Right, so that uh, shows me how basically wide the tails are. Uh, positive means it is all together. Negative means the tails have a lot of probabilities under them. Uh, we have the skewness. It's a negatively skewed data in this case. I have the range, minimum, maximum, sum. If I'm interested, the sum of total, the total sales amount was 45,576. Again, there are 42 uh, entries, transactions. And my confidence interval level at 97.5 is 174. Basically, if I was calculating um, upper uh, limit, that means I'm going to say 185 plus this one. 
and then the lower limit is is equal to this one minus this value right so my confidence interval for 97.5 uh, percent is is between 911 and 1259 right so this is how we get all the descriptive statistics using excel quickly again uh, i uh, i could do it one by one but this might save a lot of uh, time for us to just get all at once